Hello UK Motor Talkers and you join me today down in a wet and windy Sussex. It's lockdown again and when isn't it frankly and it's winter so it's cold as you'll probably tell from the jumper. Now I brought you down to the garage today because I thought you might like to see my old car and if you listen to the podcast you undoubtedly would have heard about this. I have what the other guys refer to as a bit of an unusual love for this thing. It is under this cover a 1990 Ford Orion Equip. It's the kind of car that a lot of people's dads had, granddads had. You might have had one. Um, it's a car that was certainly bigger than the 90s through to the early noughties. A lot of them modified during the max power generation. Um, I've had this particular car for around about 12 or 13 years. So it's been part of my life for a long time. And I'll come to that in a bit. Um, I say she's about 31 years old. But it's sat down here for the last couple of years pretty much unused um, just due to life and kids and everything else getting in the way so I'm going to uncover it now so you can take a look and see what it is that I've been chatting about we'll try and get it started and have a bit of a look around doesn't look too bad under here actually a little bit of dust but not too bad here we are so all uncovered and I would say looking in pretty good shape. The wheels are off the car, the car's on axle stands, uh, just to try and help the suspension a bit. Wheels are Sierra Shark Tooth Cosworth alloys, in case you were wondering. Um, looking over the car, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Bit dusty, um, but not too dirty. It seems to have been preserved pretty well under there. I have, from time to time, come out and started the car up, and it's connected to a battery charger. Uh, as you can probably see, the bonnet's just open a bit. Um, and so hopefully it will start this time. It's been a little while to be completely honest. Now, the paintwork is looking pretty good. We resprayed it back in 2014 um, and that was for our wedding. Now my wife had the option of using her boss's Bentley and she said no she'd rather use this but the problem was that at the time it was in primer. Now I'd always planned to restore the car and sort of take some time over it but that did give me a bit of a deadline to be honest. Um, and so we got the car up and together um, and thankfully some friends of mine in a body shop managed to get me some space and help me get the car prepped and painted. Problem being the paint reacted with some of the primer, I had a bit of a bad batch uh, and in the main it was absolutely fine um, but nevertheless I had to have a quick rub down and so it's perhaps not quite as perfect as I otherwise like. Nevertheless, it means it's usable and I think that's probably more important than anything because it's a bit sad to have a lovely car and, and be afraid to use it, um, which can be the case. Inside, it's pretty much everything you'd expect it to be. It's all original in here. Um, so original steering wheel, dials, etc. Uh, that came out of a friend's car, but it's got some memories behind it. And I have a three button clock up here as well, which has a bit of a lap timer in it, which I guess it was for longer journey times. We've got the original stereo in this car as well. Now, I'll grab the keys and pop them in. Ooh, fuel pump doesn't sound great. Uh, this is an original unit, the one that came in the car. Um, it doesn't sound great, to be honest with you, but it looks right in here. And that's something that's pretty important to me. Now, I have found somebody who's able to convert this to Bluetooth. And we've been having a bit of a chat over the phone, and I'm going to convert this to uh, Bluetooth audio. So I'll be able to connect my phone to it. Uh, and Bluetooth calling as well. Now, there's going to be a few little trick touches in here, including the buttons operating the controls on the Bluetooth. So I look forward to showing you that later on in another video. Up top here we've got the original dials. Now this hasn't done a lot of miles, this car is, is pretty evident from the body. Um, I mentioned before we had it uh, repainted, but uh, it was always a solid car, just a bit of lacquer, um, lacquer peel and a couple of little pin dents it picked up over time just being used as a car. Uh, the steering column as well is, well, it's, it's bent to be completely honest. And that's because I'm sure someone's tried to nick this in the past. Um, but that's kind of part of the history. And I, although I could have easily have changed it when I had the dash out, I decided to keep it as it was just because it's just part of the character of the car. Inside the car then is exactly what you'd expect from an 80s or 90s Ford. It's filled to the brim with plush velour, which is really comfortable to be completely honest with you. I've done miles and miles in this car and, and several just like it before. Um, it's full of plastic, as you'd also probably expect, and the build quality is... Mm, it's okay. I mean, the car's 30 years old. It, it's done pretty well. 
But it's not really about that, is it? It's a, a car's important to you because of the way it makes you feel or, or the memories that it carries. Now, this car, as I said, we've used for my wedding. I've had it for years and years. But the real reason why I have one is because it's identical to the car that my parents had when I was three years old. And that was just like this, a red Ford Orion Equip, um, 1.3, racy. Um, never very quick, but you kind of idolise your parents' car, don't you? Your dad's car when you're small. And I just thought it was really cool. It had lattice wheels on it, spoiler. Um, this one has spot lamps, um, which which dads didn't. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, except with a, a two-litre Z-Tech under the bonnet on this one. Now, this has been in the car since about 2008 or so. So it's been in there for a fair, uh, fair time. Um, but it's got to the point where it's not running the way it should be. And it runs on the original Ford management as well. So time for a bit of an upgrade, I think. So I'm open to this. I can't decide whether to, to go retro and put a CVH under the bonnet or whether I will fit a, another Z-Tech. I've got a black top in the shed behind me, which I could build up on throttle bodies or something similar. I'd always wanted to do a supercharged conversion, but we'll see how that goes. Under the bonnet then is a two litre ZTEC engine from a Mondeo, known as the silver top because of the silver cam cover, and it's it's pretty tidy under here, but not as tidy as I'd like. I repainted this years ago um, underneath the flat where I used to live in the garage. Uh, and I would like to spend a bit more time on it. Really, um, it was a small garage, a bit smaller even than this one, which is about nine foot wide, uh, which is fine really for a car of this size. Um, but that was narrow, and I had to push it in and out on a dolly. Um, actually the only time I ever really damaged this car was pushing it in and out of that garage uh, just because it was so tight um, under here like I say maybe a blacktop Z-Tech would fit nicely with bodies or something similar I quite like the idea of, of making something that looks like it should be there uh, just as a standard engine so maybe with a, a proper airbox or something similar in here instead of a, a K&M which is what it's currently running and you can see the battery charger there so let's have a look and see if it will start right so here we are back in the car fuel pump has grumbled let's see whether or not she will go a couple of cranks and away we go I did just check the oil just to make sure we were okay normally I would like to pop the leads off just to give it a couple of uh, couple of turns to make sure she gets through but here we are seems to have fired up there's a big old grumbling noise coming from the clutch as well, probably where she's been sat for so long. Yeah, not sounding fantastic, but nevertheless, here we are. Well, thank you for joining me as we've had a look around the onion, as it's affectionately known. I'm pleased it's still here uh, and it seems to be all in one piece. I do really look forward to getting this back down on the deck and showing you what it's like out in the open, uh, hopefully when the weather's a little bit better, assuming I haven't decided to pull it apart first. If you've got any ideas of what I should do with the engine, the powertrain, anything uh, with this car, other than modifying the body, because let's face it, these old cars I think are just better left looking standard or standard-ish then drop me a comment below. I'd also love to hear from you if this brings back lots of memories, there's some nostalgia there, just whatever it might be about your, your old Ford particularly, and especially if you've had an old Orion. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button below if you want to see some more about the car. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook at UK Motor Talk or see more at ukmotortalk.co.uk. Look forward to seeing you soon.